Hi guys! For today's workout, we are going to have a 15 minute cardio workout for our level 1 followers of our workout plan. To make the most of this workout, each set will be repeated twice. And to learn more about why we do this, click the link in the description for more information on the training effect. For most of the workout, we'll be doing 45 seconds of work with 15 seconds in between, while the stretches at the end will be 30 seconds of stretch with 5 seconds of rest in between. When the timer is green, it means that you can take your rest, and when the timer is white, it means that it is time to start our next exercise. Like all other exercises, breathe out as you tighten your muscles, and breathe in as you relax. For this workout, all you will need is a yoga mat, and we highly recommend 1-2-2kg of weights for a challenge, which can be easily replaced by any other 1-2-2kg objects like water bottles or other bottles if you do not have weights. Do also remember to stay hydrated during the workout and to stop whenever you feel unwell. Now, let's get started. First, we have squat kicks. Start with your feet shoulder width apart, bend your knees and drop your butt till your legs make a 90 degree angle just like doing your regular squats. However, upon returning to the starting position, kick your right leg forward and that is one repetition. Do alternate kicking your left and right legs after every squat. Next, we have run and punch. As literal as it sounds, we'll be running or jogging on the spot while throwing out some punches. Weights are optional in this exercise, but if you want to challenge yourself, go for it. You can also increase your running pace as a challenge as well. Then we will be doing some high knees. This is an exercise I'm sure many of you are familiar with. All you gotta do is try hitting your hands with your thighs when jogging on the spot as shown in the video. The faster you go, the more challenging it is, but do not neglect accuracy when going faster. Also, always remember to maintain a good posture and steady breathing. Let's go, let's go. We've got some butt kicks up next. Many of you must have done this before, so let's just do it one more time. This is a fairly simple exercise where all you gotta do is have your heels lightly kick your butt when jogging on the spot. Being similar to the previous exercise, you can try increasing your speed as a challenge, but do not neglect accuracy.
Now we got some jumping jacks. I'm sure almost all of you have done this many many times and yes we are back at it again. Just like this video, stretch your legs shoulder width apart and arms parallel to your shoulders upon jumping. After returning to the start position, repeat the action again but have your hands clap above your head this time around. Alternate these two actions for 45 seconds. As a challenge, you can jump bigger and faster, but also do remember to keep your arms straight at all times. Side note, this can actually help you burn more calories. I'm sure many of you have tried jump rope before, but what about air jump rope? This exercise is literally skipping with an invincible jump rope. This sounds fairly simple, but trust me, it's pretty tiring. Although there's no rope, you still gotta carry out the wrist movement of turning the ropes and do not use your arms. Do remember to also land lightly on your feet. There's one more before a short break. We now got plyo power knees. Start with your feet shoulder width apart and your body weight on your left knee. Bring in your right knee to your chest and both your hands as well as seen in the video. Keep repeating this action for 22 seconds before changing over to your left knee. Three, two, one, start on your left knee now. Yay yay yay! You did great in your first set and now you've got a short 30 second break before carrying out the second set. Remember to stay hydrated. Just like what you have done previously, all you gotta do is squat and kick and squat and kick. Let's go! That's right, we are now at the second exercise of the second set. Do not give up and keep running and punching.
those that are starting to feel tired, do not give up. Maybe you can try running at a slower pace, but do not stop. Let's keep going. Back to the basics, let's just get those jumping jacks right. Second last exercise before the end guys, do not give up and just keep jumping. Just one more, so just keep going and get their knees working before the end of this workout. Let's go, let's go, let's go! And we're done in three, two, one. Now, time for some stretches. There will be eight stretches, and each stretch will be 30 seconds with a five second break in between. Just a reminder that when stretching, focus on the muscle that you are stretching to make the stretch more effective, and that you should not feel any pain, but just some mild tension. If you do feel pain, do not strain yourself and stop stretching for a while. Lastly, Take deep breaths and use this time to cool down from your exercise. Let's get started! We will first start off with some deep breathing. As you inhale, bring your arms up towards the ceiling and hold it there for about 3-5 to five seconds. After that, exhale and lower yourself into a squat position. Use this time to lower your heart rate and to relax.
Next, we will be reaching up and down while taking deep breaths. As you inhale, bring your arms up and tiptoe to reach the sky. Then slowly reach downwards to the floor while exhaling. Do this slowly and try to reach as high and as low as possible. Now, we will move on to stretching our quads. As you hold onto your foot for the quad stretch, make sure your leg is aligned with your body and do this by pressing your hip forward as shown in the GIF. Hold on to the surface for a better balance. Now repeat the same thing on the other side. Next up is the downward dog calf pedal to stretch our calves. Get into a downward dog position and bend one leg at a time to really feel the stretch in your calves. Make sure your heels fully touch the ground. We are more than halfway through, so don't give up. Now, get into a kneeling position and rest your upper body on your tights for the child pose. This is a great position for you to relax and take deep breaths. Moving on, we will now stand up to stretch our biceps and our back. Put your hands together at the back and lift them up as high as you can really to feel the stretch. Finally, we will end our stretch session with a forward wide stretch. Sit on the floor with legs wide apart and slowly inch your way forward. Do not worry if you cannot go far, but try and go as far as you can and feel the stretch in your inner thighs. That's right, and we are done with the level 1 cardio workout and stretches. Remember to drink some water and stay hydrated, and we hope to see you for our next workout.